Hello and welcome to another Dr. Spotfire quick tip video. My name is Jose Leveguera from Spotfire and today I'm going to show you how to format your axis by adding a unit of measure or have different options. Look at this analysis where I have the oil production and consumption from different countries and look at the unit of measure that I have next to each number. I also have the unit of measure on my axis in this scatter plot visualization and I'm going to show you how I did this. The first thing I want to do in order to create a custom unit of measure along my axis is go to Tools, Options, and then I'm going to see my default settings dialog. Every time I create a new analysis, these settings are going to be applied. You can explore different options, but now we are going to go directly to the axis formatting and click the Edit Symbol Set. You only might have only one option here. I already added a couple more. This is, for example, for the electric capacity farads, and you can see all the different variations here. And then I have ohms, and this is also an electrical unit of measure to measure resistivity. And I have mega ohms, kilo ohms, ohms, and milli ohms. So the mega ohms is represented by a factor of 10 to the 6, which is 1 million ohms. And then I have my kilo ohms, which is 1,000 regular ohm, no, no exponents. And then my millions, which is 1,000th of an ohm or 10 to the minus 3. So now, now let's add one unit of measure, which is going to be barrels. So let the barrels is represented by BPL in the oil and gas industry. And now I'm going to start adding the symbol set. So for a single barrel of oil, which is about 159 liters or 42 gallons, it's going to be just BBL. I'm going to put a space because I want the unit of measure to have a little space after the number. So space, BBL, click OK. I have my first unit of measure. I'm going to add a couple more because when I'm talking about thousands of barrels in the oil and gas industries represented by capital M and then followed by BBL, and these are 1,000 barrels, the, exp the, the exponent is 3. For million is going to be uh, 10 to the 6 and is represented by two capitals, two capital M's BBL. And don't forget the space at the beginning. Let me see what happened here. Uh, did I add the space? Make sure I have a space. There you go. And it looks good. Finally, 1,000 million barrels or 1 billion barrels. It's represented by B, capital B, and then BBL. And this is going to be an exponent of 9. Uh, did I miss my space here? Yes, okay. Now I have everything tidy, click OK, and now it's time for me to apply that symbol set by going to my formatting on this particular visualization. So I'm going to select number and I'm going to select barrels and now you can see immediately the numbers here in the scale. Now, if I don't want to do this over and over again, every time I create a visualization so that I go to the formatting and set that number, I go to my column properties and I select the columns that represent my volumes for each measure. So I'm going to add those for the production and consumption. Also for the exports and imports is the same amount of oil. And then when I go to the formatting, I can change the number format to be barrels and you can see that immediately apply in any visualization that you don't have the, the that, that uses the default setting. So if I click OK, it's going to apply those settings. All right, now I have my top producers and you can see that the unit of measure is automatically applied. Even if I have this, if uh, for some reason I want to change the, the unit of measure and I go to my formatting uh, for my axis, I can just reset the formatting and the formatting is going to remain the same. Nothing changed. And that's it. I hope you like it and we'll see you next time in the next Dr. Spotfire Quick Tip video. Keep the questions, the comments and the suggestion going and don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time.